Well, guys, I think there's a good, very, very strong chance we're going to open higher tomorrow. Uh, if I were to put odds on it, I would say 90% chance the market's going to open higher tomorrow. What we are seeing here, outright total capitulation. The bulls just pretty much threw in the towel as of the close, the closing minutes of the trading today. That typically means uh, there's an exhaustion sell-off situation happening here. So just keep that in mind going forward here. You look on your new NQs here. We came right down to this weekly VPOC. We closed right on that. Right here, right now, we are bouncing off that weekly VPOC. This could act as significant support on our Qs and rally to the upside here. Okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, Qs have hit a significant support area. I think that's what they were doing. They were trying to reach right down to that VPOC for a responsive bot bid to the upside here. Um... You come out here on the let me uh now what's happening here in the uh we did find some support in the queues as we are speaking here the s yes futures are pushing down this uh next uh vpoc at the 90 20 this is an untested virgin point of control so what i'm thinking is going to happen in the overnight sessions we are going to come down to the 1920 area on the s and p's um, like I said, we do have found some sort of support, support in the queues, possibly, but this is the area they're trying to reach for in the S&Ps, the 1920, in my opinion. So keep that in mind going forward here uh, on this market. I do have some Apple calls. I couldn't believe it. I bought in with 45 seconds ago in our, uh, with only three, three contracts and down $200 already. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> 45 seconds of trading. That's how fast things were dropping like a rock. So uh, do I think the bottom is in? This is an untested VPOC, so most likely not in quite yet, okay? In this morning's video, I specifically pointed this level right here out for the Russell. That's exactly where we came to today. I could have never dreamt this morning that we, we'd actually hit that in the same day that I mentioned it. Uh, considering we're way up here, it comes all the way down here. Unbelievable, the move that we just had. And the Russell. So, um, but we have accomplished the goal and the Russell. And uh, <clears throat> we are reaching for the goal in the ES in the overnight session. So keep that in mind going forward here in your trading. Uh, yes, of course, we've had some responsive selling be below on the downside below this, of course. But uh, that just gives you an idea. We are a lot closer to a bottom than we were a week ago that's for sure we're extremely close that uh you know uh, very very close that they're gonna have to start short cover covering their puts at this point okay so keep that in mind going forward well after that end of day flash crash i thought i'd give you an update on these uh option payouts today and it was all apple they they're into the close they were just absolutely dumping the living crap out of apple into the close. Like I said, I, I tried to pick it up right there at the very end, seeing what they were doing. I don't know. I don't think it's justified. Uh, that's why I was buying into it. But look at these. I mean, I mean, that last half an hour, we are double and tripling the returns on the Apple options. That is just unheard of. Uh, then we also had some action in Adobe. Um, nothing like Apple. And uh, AbbVie. So those were the top ones that are alerting here. Uh, but basically, most most of the big sell-off was all Apple here for some reason. So, um, But the 274 area, 270, 274 area, I do want to be a long-term holder of Apple, in my opinion. So uh, just something I want to keep in mind here. I do have short data for tomorrow for those three options, but I do want to start accumulating some uh, calls uh, uh, with some time duration on them. Uh, going forward here okay despite the big sell-off uh, on the s p's we didn't have anything show up on my scan for the close we did still manage to hold some gains on zoom video and etsy those are only two stocks that on the call side we managed to catch some action on the uh, upside downside on the uh, nasdaq composite all apple of course along with the s p's and uh, if we go down the list here, do, 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 Adobe, AMD is on the list this time. 
Uh, we got AMD on the big sell-off too. AMD was down 10% at one point today. It, it, it has it actually recovered into the close. So, um, but yeah, Adobe, Apple, AAL, uh, American Airlines. So those are some of the ones that are, were alerting to the downside today. And then uh, I don't typically do this, but I'm going to bring up the Russell 2000 real quick. Russell 2000, put side. You saw that big decline in the Russell. Let's just see what we're showing up here on that. Uh, NTNX, I don't really know that company. Uh, Yelp. Yelp is, okay, really not really it's major selling pressure on the uh, put side in that. So basically, Apple really was taking the markets down here into the close. So keep that in mind going forward. That can have a uh, real quick uh, uh, thing. And Etsy is also showing up on our uh, Russell. It's listed on our Russell as well. So basically, uh, that's all I'm going to get into. I might have a morning video. I just wanted to do this real quick before all my uh, end of day data got cleared out in the morning. And uh, so basically, uh, I do see a little bit more downside potential for the solid untested BPOC for the uh, S&Ps. We're probably going to do that in the overnight session. And then we might actually see some responsive buying first thing in the morning. Um, Apple's the one I'm really thinking uh, we might. Uh, but this here is a capit capitulation sell-off. So just keep that in mind that we could, if any type of positive news, like, like eliminating the tariffs temporarily, if they would just happen to come out in the overnight session with something like that, yeah, we're going to, they're going to destroy these people going into the VIX, into the uh, closing hours. Oh, and to finish it all off here, uh, let's see how our ZNs close the day out, uh, our 10-year bonds. Uh, there we go. We have, we're moving back to the highs of the session. You know, it was just a outright, you know, that was an outright capitulation sell-off in Apple. Uh, plain and simple, that's exactly what happened there. Um and I don't know, understand what, exactly what caused it. Uh, we're still marking a dollar lower than what I got in at in the after hour session. Uh, this is an untested VPOC at the 270. So very good chance we are going to hit the 270. Unfortunately, I missed that earlier today. And uh, or I would have held off for Apple into the morning. Because basically that is going to be down pressure for the for the opening tick. Uh, knowing that 270 has been untested markets want to test those untested areas in a big sell-off like this in a major way okay i'll see you later um uh, be safe and uh like the video if you like it please leave comments um and uh, uh good luck in trading tomorrow uh like i said it looks like we're going to have a slightly lower open but i don't think it's going to be too bad